So YouTube, team keep it clean. Happy Saturday. What's going on? It's Ink Raven here with another video. Before we get into this to review the presser that the Ravens just had a little while ago, I gotta say that I love y'all and I really appreciate y'all. Uh, and we put this on Twitter, but for those of you that didn't see, I gotta say it on here too. Let's really try to uh, lift, lift some people up today. Do something small, something small to lift somebody up because it's a lot of people. Everybody got their own problems. Everybody got their own struggles that they're going with, that they're facing, that they're dealing with. So please just try to lift somebody up. Do something positive for somebody. Uh, shed some light on something for somebody in a positive way. Just be there for people because we all need it, man. We all need it. We all go through things. Everything ain't all peachy 24-7. Stuff happens. So just be there for each other, man. Uh, anyway, the Ravens, they, they caught us this morning. Well, they caught me. I can't speak for everybody, but they certainly caught me by surprise this morning because I didn't know they were going to do a presser today. I had no clue. But earlier this morning, uh, I was brushing my teeth and I was looking through my YouTube notifications and subscriptions and stuff. And then it said Ravens presser at 1230. And I was like, oh, OK. And it said Rashad Bateman and Adafi Away were going to be speaking at that presser. And I was like, OK. I didn't know it was coming, but. I'm with it. I got no problem with it. So I, I was looking forward to it. Uh, but then they started early. And I'm like, man, y'all usually start late. And I can relate to that myself. Uh, but they started at like 12, 15 or something or 12, 10, something like that. And I'm like, OK. But then it was John Harbaugh speaking. And he was just going over some of the basics, going over some of the schedule, going over some of the tryouts, going over some of the injuries, uh, minor injuries, nothing surprising, anything. Ben Mason, they said he tore some skin on his foot due to something with his shoe. Uh, they said Jacob Breeland, he he had the injury from last year that he was dealing with, and he still isn't fully recovered, but they said they expect him back by training camp. Uh, so that'll add some more, oh, just so happen to be two tight ends, but that will add more uh, competition to the tight end room because that tight end room, just like the wide receiver room, that tight end room is full. The wide receiver room is full. So it's going to be some tough decisions that are made, but we'll cross that road when we get there. Uh, so first up, out of the rookies. Uh, was Adafe away and Adafe somebody asked a question about just his name being used now him going by his first name now instead of going by Jason um, and he said hey it's a new chapter man it's a new chapter and he that he loves that he can actually do that now and that's big because when you first meet somebody the first thing you get to know about somebody is their name that's usually the first thing you get to know. And if it's somebody who hasn't even been going by their first name for so long, they may feel like the world like really doesn't even know them yet. So for him, the timing, we always say timing is everything. So for him to decide, you know what, now I'm going into my professional career now. I'm going to go by my real first name, Odafe. And he knew, like, we remember the press conference from a couple weeks ago where the reporters were, some, some people were saying it wrong and whatnot. And it's a process. It's a process. So, but now it seems like everybody got it right and it can just make you feel that much more at home and that much more comfortable and that much more at ease. So shout out to Adafe away. Uh, and he continued to be strictly business. Like to this guy, like when you hear him speak, it's no nonsense, no nonsense. Like, it, it seems like when, when if you talk to him, like if you tell a funny joke, like not even one of my dad jokes, but if you actually tell a joke that's really funny, even though some of my dad jokes, they be hitting there. But if you tell a joke, it seems like he'll look at you with a straight face and go, ha, that was really funny. Tell me another one. Because he's, he's all business, man. All business. But I, I love that. And it, again, he... He, I'm sure he's excited and he's very proud and happy to be a Baltimore Raven. But this dude, he seems like, hey, give me the pads. Let me strap up my helmet. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I ain't trying to have all these interviews. I'm trying to get on the field and make something happen. So every time I hear this dude speak, and I, I think I've only heard him speak twice, uh, but all strictly business. So shout out to Adafe Away. Um, they also spoke to the other first round pick, Rashad Bateman. And Rashad Bateman, they had a plethora of questions for him. Some of them, he was laughing at the questions. Uh, but they had a lot of questions for him. And they asked him about, like, is, is there any pressure with you being a first round pick, with having to learn the playbook and stuff? And he said, hey, whether I was a first round pick or a seventh round pick, my job 
is to learn the playbook. And my job is to contribute. That's my job. No matter where I got selected at, it does not matter. And it doesn't. That's true. It's very true. But my favorite question uh, from the presser, it came from Cliff, Clifton Brown. And you know what? Let's just listen to it. Let's listen to the question. Minnesota, you were obviously the number one weapon, and you know all defenses kind of catered their self to stopping you. How much do you think it's going to help you to be in an offense where obviously there's going to be a lot of other weapons around you? So the question, just in case it was a little blurry for you hearing it, he said in Minnesota, you were the number one guy. So defenses, what they needed to do was cater to you. They needed to adjust to you. They needed to watch you extra close. They needed to have a defensive game plan for you because you were the number one receiver. But now that you're going to be a Baltimore Raven, how does it feel knowing that there are going to be other weapons too? That it won't just be you. How does that feel, Mr. Rashad Bateman? And that's a really good question. I, I love the question. But one thing that I loved even more than the question was the answer uh it's not about that i'm not focusing on being the number one weapon um like i said in the previous question uh, i want to be the best receiver for this team um this team deserves that and this team has earned that uh so whatever coach harbaugh needs for me whatever lamar needs for me uh whatever the oc the uh coordinator needs for me that's my job so i'm just looking forward to doing that loved it i loved it loved it so i'm not worried about being a number one wide receiver i don't need that I just want to contribute any way that I can and do my job. I want to do my job. He said, so whatever Harbaugh needs, whatever Lamar needs, whatever the offensive coordinator needs, whatever the passing game and the wide receiver coach needs, whatever anybody needs, Sammy Watkins, whatever Hollywood needs, hey, y'all boys need me to take some pressure off? I got you. Whatever you need. Hey, JK, you about to break for 60 yards? Oh, you need me to throw a block extra hard? I got you. Oh, Lamar, hey, you going to scramble in the backfield for a little bit and then find me? Okay, let's go. I got you. Oh, you about to throw me a fade route in the end zone? <laughs> Y'all going to implement that in the playbook, actually? Wow, I got you. So, Rashad Bateman, what I got from his presser, from his part of the presser, I got you. And that seemed to be his message to the Baltimore Ravens. I got you. And I loved it. I appreciated it. And again, man, we, we, we saw some of the different, the little highlights from uh, earlier today from minicamp and stuff. And I know Ravens, they, they, they doing that on purpose. They, they know we like, we ready for football, man. They know this. They know, especially after that draft, that we ready for football. Even after they signed them undrafted rookie free agents, which we were going to talk about some of them specifically, we were ready for football. They know that after free agency, we were ready for football. They know that even after that Buffalo Bills playoff loss, where we didn't even get to see a full game from all of our guys because Lamar went out, we've been ready for football. And again, when you listen to Adafi away, <laughs> he is ready for football, man. So, whew, we got a while to go. But Team Keep It Clean, we're going to be here every step of the way. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I know that y'all are ready for football. And just like my guy Rashad Bateman said and what the theme of his part of the press conference was, I got you. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting. We out.